Hi! In this video, we are going to discuss about the metric sequence formula. And in this video, we are going to focus on um, how to find the n term of a geometric sequence. Going back to the definition of geometric sequence, geometric sequence is one where to get from one term to the next, you multiply by the same number each time. The number is called the common ratio. So again, to know if the sequence is geometric sequence, there must be a common ratio. Let's have our first example. What is the 14th term of a geometric sequence with 1 as the first term and 2 as the common ratio? Remember that for geometric sequence, okay, you need to multiply the common ratio repeatedly from the previous number to create a geometric sequence. So in this case, the given first term is 1 and the common ratio is 2. So what we need to do to find out the 14th term is to multiply 2 repeatedly. So we'll start with 1. Then 1, you multiply that with 2, the answer will be 2. So you'll have this, uh, the second term equal, that's equal to 2. To get the third term, you multiply 2 and 2. So you'll have this geometric sequence. So you have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So we only have derived here the first six terms. But in the problem, we are asked to look for the 14th term. So all you need to do is to multiply 2 repeatedly until you reach the 14th term. So this might take long. So you can use calculators or whether uh, you solve it manually using a pen or a paper. The 14th term in this given is 8,190. So you just imagine your trouble of multiplying repeatedly, okay, if you're not going to use any formula. Let's have our second example. What is the 12th term of a geometric sequence with 2 as the first term and 3 as the common ratio? So we are given 2 as our first term and then yung 3 natin is our R or the common ratio. So if you, you have a pen and paper, you start with 2. Multiply nyan by 3, 2 times 3 will give us 6, 6 times 3 will give us 18, and so on, until you reach the 12th term. So it will take time. So dito, binigay ko lang is the first 4 terms. Okay, if you'll do it manually or using a calculator, you'll, you'll know that the 12th term is 3, uh, 354,294. Wow, sobrang dami. So, um, is this the best way of solving for the 12th term of a geometric sequence? You doing it manually, pen and paper, or calculator? It will take time. So it would be best for you to use formula. The easiest way to find the n term in the geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the common ratio raised to n minus 1. Okay, remember that our a sub n is the last term or it's the term that you are looking for. So example, if you are asked to look for the 12th term, so a sub 12 yan. If you are asked to look for the 14th term, so ito magiging a sub 14. So remember, a sub 1 natin is always the first term. Our r is your common ratio. You get this by dividing two consecutive terms. And then your n, saan siya manggagaling? Dito sa ating a sub n. That's your term position. Let's have our examples. So, gagamitin natin dito yung two problems that we had earlier. Example number one. What is the 14th term of a geometric sequence with 1 as the first term and 2 as the common ratio? So, binigay na sa atin yung first term and common ratio. Magagamit natin ito sa ating formula. So, you have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the common ratio raised to n minus 1. So, you have a sub 14. Ito yung hinahanap natin. 
then your your one is the first term. Two is your common ratio, and then fourteen minus one. So please start solving mo na yung nandun sa ating exponents. So fourteen minus one. Subtract eh, uh, fourteen and one. You have a sub 14 is equal to 1 times 2 raised to 13. Now, in your calculators, you press 2 raised to 13. In some calculators, may naka-display dyan na x raised to y. So, you can use that. So, you press 2 first, and then yung button na x raised to y, and then you press 13, then press the equal sign. So, you'll get the value um, 8,192. And then you multiply that to 1. So our 14 term is 8,192. Example number 2. What is the 12th term of a geometric sequence with 2 as the first term and 3 as the common ratio? So may gagamitin na tayo sa formula natin. First term, 2 common ratio or R is 3. So this is the formula. Okay, A sub 12 is equal to 2 times 3 raised to 12 minus 1. So saan ang galing yung 12 natin dito? Dito siya galing sa ating and subscript ng A. Okay, so next step is solve mo na yung 12 minus 1, the exponent. 12 minus 1 will give us 11. And then solve nyo yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, yung 3 raised to 11, the exponent. So 3 ta raised to 11 will give us 177,147. And then multiply that by 2. So final answer natin is 354,294. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede ulitin ang video at panoorin ulit. And don't forget, practice din pag may time.